Hi guys, so today we're looking at forming quadratic equations. Our learning intention for today is by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use the roots of an equation to form a quadratic equation. Note that a quadratic equation will look like this. AX squared plus BX plus C, where A, B and C are the numbers that you need to find. Okay, there are two ways of forming a quadratic equation. We will look at both ways today. Let's look at the following example. Form a quadratic equation using the given roots 4 and 2. Please note that the roots of your equation mean where your graph crosses the x-axis are the values that you get when you solve for x. So when you solve for x, when you have a quadratic equation. These are called your roots. All right, when we want to form our quadratic equation using the roots, the first thing we do is state each root. Our roots are equal to x is equal to four and x is equal to minus two. We then find the corresponding factor of each root. This means we bring our value and our x to the same side of the equal sign. So bring the four across and bring the minus two across the equal sign. This gives us x minus four, x plus two. Step three, multiply the factors together and put your equation equal to zero. This gives us x minus 4 times x plus 2. To multiply our brackets together, we take the first value out of the first bracket and multiply it by the second bracket and take this second value from the first bracket and multiply it by the second bracket. This gives us x times x plus 2. So our first value is multiplied by your second bracket and minus 4 times x plus 2. From here we expand our brackets. x times x gives us x squared. x times plus 2 gives us plus 2x. Minus 4 times x gives us minus 4x. Minus 4 times plus 2 gives us minus 8. This is all equal to 0. We then simplify by adding together our like terms. We're left with x squared plus 2x minus 4x leaves us with minus 2x and minus 8 equals 0. Your quadratic equation is x squared minus 2x minus 8. You may notice that when you are forming a quadratic equation, you are doing the opposite to what you usually do when you solve your equation. So when you solve your equation, we factorize, put your brackets equal to zero and solve for x. When you're forming your equation, we take your solving for x, put them into brackets, multiply them back together again and get your equation. So we're just doing the opposite of what we usually do when we solve an equation. To form a quadratic equation, you state your roots, put them as factors and multiply them together. Please pause and take down this example. There are two ways in which we can form a quadratic equation. We've looked at method one. 
Now we will look at method two. In method two, we use the for following formula. A quadratic equation is given by x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the products of the roots. Using this, we will find the quadratic equation for the given roots 4 and minus 2. The first thing we will do is state each root. That's x is equal to 4 and x is equal to minus 2. We then find the sum of the roots. This means we add the roots together. Our sum of our roots is 4 minus 2. So adding these together, 4 minus 2 equals 2. We then find the product of the roots. This means we multiply the roots together. This gives us 4 times minus 2, which leaves us with minus 8. We then substitute the sum and products of the roots into your quadratic equation. Substituting in the sum and the products to our equation, x squared minus sum of the roots x plus the product of the roots gives us x squared minus 2 plus minus 8. We'll now simplify this and we get x minus 2x and a plus times a minus gives us minus 8. Our quadratic equation is x squared minus 2x plus 8. Please pause and take down this example.